Hello, today I'm going to be making some flex, flexy meal wraps. If you don't have flex meal, you can just grab your flax seed and do what I do. And I just stick it in my food processor and grind it up. And actually, it's a lot cheaper that way as well because when you buy flax meal, it's more expensive. So I got a cup and I'm going to go ahead and grind that. So when I get my meal all nice and grounded up, I like to add a little flavor to it. And I use a little bit of onion powder, just about a half a teaspoon. And I like to use a little garlic. This is absolutely amazing. Same with that. Alrighty, once you get your stuff all ground up, I have a kettle and I have three-fourths cup of water in there. I'm going to let that boil. And then we're going to go ahead and add the seed meal into that. And then we're just going to mix that together and it's going to conform. Conform. It's going to form a dough. And then I'll shake it in. And it'll thicken up more and more as you stir it. And they absorb all that water. So you're going to be able to roll it out with a pen and make flatbreads. So I have my dough and then I have it on the parchment, piece of parchment. And then I'm going to take my and then go ahead and roll that out. So in my pan I have some coconut oil, got that all heated up, and we're just going to go fry this up for a couple minutes. Alrighty, as you can see mine's not the prettiest, but that's fine. I'm just going to roll it up with a few toppings in there, and sometimes I use them for breakfast and put eggs and sausage, and they are a little delish. Alrighty. There you go. You got yourself a nice little flax meal wrap. They're pretty good. You can go ahead and put as many different kinds of seasonings as you want. Sometimes I put oregano, basil, and they're tasty. The kids love them. As you can see, they started picking at this one already before I even got them out of the pan. But anyways, make sure you give it a try. Tell me if you like it in the comments below. And if you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, and have yourselves a great day. Alrighty, so I decided to do a next video on this one because there was another flatbread that I wanted to try and I haven't made it or haven't tasted it so I thought what the heck I'll do it now so in my cup I have and I'm only going to be doing half of the recipe because I've never had it and if I don't like something I don't want to waste almond flour and tapioca and stuff because it's very expensive stuff to be wasting but anyways in my bowl I have a half cup of almond flour and half tapioca starch. And I'm going to just add in some half of coconut milk. And then we're going to whisk this together so it's all well combined. Alrighty, and it's all combined and it looks like, it's supposed to look like pancake batter, which it does. And I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes because 
it is almond flour and it needs to absorb. And then you're going to get your pan, your frying pan with your coconut oil or butter or whatever you use to grease your pan nice and hot. And then we're going to fry these off. So it's almost done. So I took a couple minutes on the first side. I flipped it over. Um, try to get it a little bit more darker, but it's as dark as it's got, which is fine. All right, I absolutely love these. They reminded me a lot of the naan bread. I would like to try these with the curry chicken. I think that would be so yummy i even actually like these better than i liked the first ones that i had made they had a way better texture taste and a little bit sweeter but thank you